Star Rail is a masterpiece. This game has felt like something extraordinary in terms of how the game felt. I haven't felt this way about a game in a while. It felt like how Genshin did during its initial release or how Breath of the Wild did on the Nintendo Switch. But why does it feel like that? with this game. When Honkai Star Rail initially released on April 26th of 2023, I didn't really play the game. I watched a few people try the game for the first time, but I wasn't really encapsulated or attracted to the idea of the turn-based combat in linear map system. The game felt like a Genshin copy from the movement of the game as well as the character model. The idle animations during the period of time you go to the character selection screen or the gearing screen even. When you have to warp or wish on a character, although the animation is different, the gacha system is identical. So I was a little skeptical at first, and none of the characters seemed to have captured my attention until this year. During the month of January, I tried HSR one more time, but this time it felt different. I played the game for a solid few hours this time, and I was totally hooked. The mission system was so easy to do, and felt less like a chore, more like a supplement to the things that you are already doing. The rewards were incredibly generous for those who come back after not playing for a while, and for those who are still playing the game from like the simulated universe rewards, and everything you do is just quite amazing. And the story was a little encapsulating as well, even though there's a lot of elements I do want to change in that, but it was genuinely a fun time to watch. I never felt the need to grind for Stellar Jades, as they just kept flooding to me. This felt smooth and efficient, and I was never worried about getting new characters. And I genuinely felt like the roster I had was already decent. Well, maybe it was just the beginning of the game, and that's usually when you get the most amount of stuff. However, something just felt different, and it kept me coming back for more. And I suspect it's from the greatest amount of changes, to the quality of life changes that they had over the course of the time the game was out. Now, not to say that the game is perfect and needs no changes. It definitely needs a skip button for missions and as we've been asking for forever, it's just absolutely so annoying that it just doesn't exist. However, it also needs a more fluid gearing system personally because a game like this doesn't need artifacts. I don't know, I just feel like it just doesn't. However, a lot of people will disagree on me on that. Maybe it's a hot take, but I guess that's just unavoidable at this point. Getting materials for artifacts is also a grind that I feel like could be avoid. Um. I could name a million changes that I wish I could change, and yet, I would still play the game how it is right now. Now, I don't know how long this feeling is going to last, but I'm going to keep surfing the wave until I reach that point. However, there's just so much more to cover now with 2.0 also coming out, I am in a way excited about the game for the first time in a while. So, last year during Kafka's first run, or her first banner. On August, I was able to obtain her after initially losing the 50-50 to Jeopard. I wasn't really excited about Jeopard, but he might prove useful later on with the shield application. But Kafka was a must-have. Now that I have Kafka, I want to max her out to the point where she is absolutely broken. And it's very much possible. And now with a new goal of getting Black Swan as well help my damage over time team become even better. Maybe even acquire Sparkle for the second team that I want to build as well, but that is just a hopeful dream at the moment. But if I keep going at this pace, it just might become a reality. In any case, Doriel is definitely caring and catering to the masses with their current game. And the director seems to know what they are doing with the game and about how the game is going and genuinely it does make me a little bit excited about the future of the game. The newest developer livestream has also showed us that they might just be willing to mess more into Star Rail. We had a gorgeous setting set during the entire thing and we are being rewarded as players who are both new and veterans of the game during this next patch. This means that not only are we being seen, we are also being heard. The same can't be said about the other gacha game about Hoyoverse or by Hoyoverse. However, 
this game definitely is on the right path. The thing with this game at the moment, which is Honkai Star Rail, is the excessive amount of 5 star characters being introduced to the game. Personally, I don't find a problem with it for a game like this at the moment because you get to decide what kind of path you choose from the get-go in the beginning of the game. Now, what does that exactly entail? Well, in the beginning of the Star Rail game, you gain a few characters, warp your first few characters, and start your journey. From then on, you decide how you want to play the game and how you're going to construct your team and what you're building it around. Personally, I chose Kafka to be my main focus, which means I want to build a team around Kafka. A team that would help deal damage over time and support damage over time. With that being said, Finding support characters that could achieve that goal should be both simple minded as to pick and choose from however many characters that is and that also means that you do get a little bit of an off point here. Characters designs and characters that you just might like might not be in the role that you want them to be. So characters in another role might be ignored in favor of your personal goal. That's only a clash I see at the moment that could prevent it from being a great system. In which case I find to be alright at the moment. However, because picking a character, for example, Black Swan over Sparkle was easy for me because of the damage over time assistant I would get from Black Swan using her arcane talent. Now I still want Sparkle on the other team, however I'm okay with not obtaining her over Black Swan at this rate. I would wait for Sparkle to get a rerun and then I could get her then. For some individuals, this would pose a problem and might invite spending on the gacha game. However, because of the limited amount of characters currently, Oracle getting a rerun in the future is genuinely likely not a far distance away. Especially when Star Rail already has begun, you will banner warp. Though so not getting your character immediately doesn't mean that they are gone for good. They are just unavailable for the time being, similar to how Kafka made a rerun once more. Even when it did take a while for the dual banners to come up, now is that time in which the characters available before start coming back. This is an unavoidable system with the current gacha game, but that is how they leech you into cashing in. Although, for Star Rail, actually getting through the game is not all that difficult as long as you are prepared to face opponents prior to the battle not by spending on characters it is as simple as testing the waters for end coming back with a game plan to finish out the opponent before you this means that end game for this game just could be incredible with the amount of variables you could add to it making it more challenging for veteran and experienced players and a welcome change for all that's something that um lot of live games should aspire to have and if we keep seeing these types of changes come into the game the game's lifespan is extended and the rivers of players come back flooding an endless cycle of creating new teams with new characters and new typing to newer and tougher waves of opponents a formula for success in terms of keeping player retention an all-time high and at an appealing standpoint so yeah those are my thoughts let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel as well. That's it. See ya.